Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to tell you a little story of a woman who was offended that someone else lost weight and decided to put it on TikTok. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the kitty up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This video is sponsored by me and my protein donut company and my weight loss support group. For more information, click the links below in my description and thank you all for the support. So it all started when a TikTok creator started posting his weight loss and posting his bum 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 before and after pictures. And you know before and after pictures causes trauma and nightmares for people in the body positivity movement and the fat back positivity clan. <laughs> Week. Anyway, this chick named Splotch Maker, who is queer, leftist, and fat. Yeah, we can tell by the pictures all over your profile, but thanks for telling us. And she's not only has fat in her bio, but she also has fat liberation in her bio. So you know that she screamed when she saw someone posting before and after photos on their profile. How dare they? So she made a slew of TikToks, either ranting or pretty much like this, where she's rolling her eyes, clearly upset that this man lost 120 pounds as she's laying in bed, obese, annoyed, probably because she doesn't have the drive to get off her butt cheeks. Stop being salty towards people who did get off theirs. Get her butt off TikTok and move and go on a slight calorie deficit. So Astronomical Boy responded. We live in a society where you can't even celebrate personal health advancements. And Splotch Maker got a slew of negative feedback. I'm surprised she didn't turn off the comments like they normally do, but people were mad that she was policing someone else's body because remember, body positivity means doing whatever the hell you want with your body. And the fact that she put this video out pretty much saying her body is no one's business. Here's a list of things that are none of your fucking business. How fat I am. That's it. Period. But over here criticizing and throwing rain clouds on someone else for doing what they want with their body. Girl, that jealousy is oozing out of you like cheese. So she started responding to the, end quote, hate she was getting and her video got taken down. I personally call it very good criticism. She calls it fat phobic rampage. <laughs> Y'all got my video taken down for bullying. And this is exactly why these things are needed because you'll silence fat voices anytime they don't protect thinness <laughs> girl no people just showed you how hippo <coughs> how hippo <coughs> oh god sorry i had to drink some water there <clears throat> how hypocritical you are and how jealous you sound because someone lost weight. That's what actually happened. I wish they didn't get the video taken down though. I hate that. No, let her showcase her stupidity, her jealousy, her anger towards someone who works very hard and how hateful she is. So Astronomical Boy responded again to her. I'm just gonna go ahead and pray for you. You are extremely out of touch. Losing weight was best for me and my health. So I did, let me celebrate. And the first thing she got offended by is that he said he will pray for her. I don't know if y'all know how condescending it is to just say you'll pray for someone. <laughs> Y'all, I know everyone's not religious. I'm not either. But if someone wants to pray for me, honey, do it. Praying is positive. Let's all pray right now. Sky Daddy or whoever you believe in. If you don't believe anything, then you shall pray to this hot Cheeto I found on the floor. Please help this woman pull the stick out of her big old butt cheeks or get off TikTok because I know it's greatly affecting her mental health and her concept of reality. Seriously, it can't be healthy if you are upset about a prayer and a dude losing weight. Can we also say a prayer thanking whoever created us, whether it be God or we're in a simulation that we are not part of this fat crew. Thank you, Jesus. I don't need you to pray for me and don't act like I'm out of touch. It's actually a fact. You are out of touch. People lose weight for whatever reason they want. You are definitely out of touch if that is shocking and upsetting for you. What's out of touch is thinking that losing weight brings you closer to health. That's a myth. <laughs> okay, yeah. You are definitely out of touch, more than I thought. Get off TikTok, take a field trip to Tammy Slayton, and then go to one of her doctor visits. He's gonna tell you that her losing weight will definitely bring her closer to health. Your celebration of thinness is inherently problematic. By the way, I tend to not take a person seriously the moment the word problematic leaves their lips because usually the next words are some bullshit. Because you are positioning thinness 
as something that should be glorified, as something that is an accomplishment. Told ya. Honey, this is an accomplishment. In the real world, you know, out of your safe space back girl world, people work at things, they commit to something, and then they get praised when they actually follow through with it. In the real world, you don't just get praised for being fat as hell. That's a myth, honey. Posting before and after type content, posting how you're not overweight anymore, whatever that means. It means exactly what it means. They aren't overweight. I know she can't be this dense. I like to think that she's just goofing us, but I really don't know anymore. Posting that you're down a certain amount of pounds, all of that in a celebratory fashion, that's anti-fat. Well, yeah, that's the purpose of losing weight, to get you farther away from fatness or obesity. Why do they always act like they are part of the Mystery Incorporated and solved a huge ass mystery? People who are losing weight are anti-fat. Uh, yeah, that's the point. Most people do not want to be fat. Hell, even people in the fat acceptance community don't want to be fat. Come on. You can do whatever you want with your body and you can post whatever you want, but I can too. I am so glad she gave us permission to make this video. Anyway, with all of her posts, from what I've seen, she's not very, you can post whatever you want type person. She just seems like one of those people who would be very happy if someone who was fat phobic was deplatformed. Actually, she started a whole ass petition to ban fat phobia. Not sure how that will happen, but she started it. So in this petition, she talks about bullying fat people and harassment of fat people and how they are just trying to be fat and enjoy TikTok and live their life and share their journey. And people keep bothering them for being fat when she's over here bothering some dude minding his own business talking about his weight loss. Hippocritical. And just because you can post whatever you want doesn't mean that what you post isn't gonna be problematic or have consequences. Well, she should remember that when the fat phobic rampagers point out how problematic she is. My comment sections right now are literally proving why these little things need to be called out. Oh god, I don't even have anything to say to that. Well, okay, I do. The comments just proved that people think that you're crazy. And you proved that these people are correct on your own with these videos. And she is. I found this random TikTok about this weird lady posting about how she doesn't wear feet prisons anymore. And she's just deciding to walk around barefoot getting her kombucha. My name is Alice and I am a crunchy mom. Lately, I have not been wearing feet prisons. Weird and ouch. But what's funny is that Splotch had to make it even weirder and say it's racist. I get so much ignorant and racist vibes whenever I hear a white person describe an inconvenience as a prison. What? What the fuck? Okay, back to being triggered over a before and after picture. So she found one person that agreed with her. I love how anytime a fat person does a video about how weight loss journeys are fat phobic, the comments are full of thin people being like, um, actually, how is it fat phobic that I don't want to be a fat, disgusting, unhealthy, obese pig anymore. That's not fat phobic. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. It's supposed to be a voiceover for this whole thing, but that's her boyfriend. Child, blink twice if you need help. Did you make your boyfriend post this? It actually is her boyfriend. You're kidding. <laughs> nope. I found this picture on her profile. Did she get her boyfriend to do this? You know one of those things where, where the girlfriend's offended and the guy is like, oh shit, now she's pissed off. Now I gotta say something so she shuts the hell up. Yes, people, that's right. The person agreeing with her is the person she's dating. Girl, you lost. Anyway, she seems like someone who will respond to this. If she does, hey girl, uh, just know if you call me fat phobic, it's no discovery. I am. Obesity is unhealthy and I prefer being able to run just in case we have a zombie apocalypse and I can pass all you fat acceptance chicks up. It ain't so positive to be fat anymore, is it? <laughs> Anyway, remember, you don't have to be a size two. Abs are great to have, but not needed to be healthy. But health is very important, and I want everyone to be as healthy as you can be. But not splotch. She obviously does not want to be healthy. It's offensive to say that. So I guess it's appropriate to wish splotch a unhealthy, slow, hard time getting up the stairs life. Good luck. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared.